All right, welcome back to Maya 2017. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to cover the display layers in the, the channel box here. So we covered the channel box in the last tutorial, and now we're going to cover the display layers. There is uh, an animation layer tab, which uh, we'll go over a little bit uh, when we cover animation later on, much later on. So uh, just realize there's that. There is also a render tab here uh, for render layers, and they have now moved that and sort of consolidated in the render settings here. So if you go down to Window, Rendering Editors, and there's a render setup or render settings here. Uh, here's the render setup. If I open up that, it opens up this window here, which uh, is pretty much what they had docked in the channel box or down the display layers. Again, we'll go over this uh, later on when we cover uh, sort of rendering with the Arnold Renderer. But uh, what I want to go over is the importance of display layers and what they do. So in the channel box here, or outliner, I'm sorry, the outliner here, if I go to window, go down to outliner to open it up, if you don't have it open, um, you'll see here uh, I have some objects in my scene here. I have this cap shield, this uh, hero shield here, and I have a ground here. Now I do have some animation here as I scrub forward. and. Um, what would be nice is, is to basically remove the ground for temporarily for visibility. Now, of course, if you have it selected, you can always turn it off and on in the um, the channel box here. But it'd be nice to have it uh, to basically get turned on and off through the display layers. And display, display layers are pretty cool for that. So um, let me show you how this works. So you can create a, uh, if you have something selected, you can basically, um, create a new layer and assign selected objects or you can just create a new layer by clicking this icon. These two move them up and down if you have multiple layers here. You can also just click on the layers tab here and create an empty layer or create layer from selected. So I'll choose this one and basically what that allows me to do is immediately turn off the visibility, the V, of this ground layer as you can see here. Now I can see underneath, um, well, let me rotate back here. If I now um, select Captain America's shield here uh, and frame it on it, I can now rotate around it and I can see the bottom where the visibility here, you can't see it. <laughs> so uh, that, that is probably the most important thing about the display layers. They allow you to organize and sort of clean things up here. Now there are some options here uh, that allow you to do some different things. Let's go ahead and name this layer just by double clicking on the layer and um, the options will pop up on a new layer or, or a floating window here and so I can call this whatever I want I'm gonna call it ground uh, and then I'm gonna um, add underscore and then uh, layer you could call it uh, ground display layer or DL um, but you want to basically name it different than what you have in the channel or the outliner here that's pretty important uh, other options here is the display type it's usually by default set to normal and then here's template and reference. We'll go over these in just a sec. Um, and then there's some check boxes. Again, I usually leave the visible checked and the height on, on playback uh, unchecked here. And then um, coloring it basically has to do with if it's set in wireframe, what it's gonna look like. So right now, um, if I click on, um, say this yellow here, right now it's, it's showing as blue, but I could make it yellow, uh, this, this index coloring. I could click in here and choose an RGB color and click in here and do that too. So um, I have that preference. So you can choose that that color there, the yellow, or I can switch to RGB and basically dial a color or double click and choose a color picker, whatever kind of unique color I want. So if I want this particular yellow, I could choose that um, and then hit save. Now, uh, once I had the visibility of that layer turned on and I go into wireframe by hitting uh, four, you'll see here, that the yellow is now on the ground plane, which is this line here. I have the grid sort of showing. Let me turn the grid off and you can kind of see it better. So um, when I have this selected uh, or click out to deselect, you can see uh, now it is yellow here instead of um, what it was before. Now um, let's go back to shade solid mode. What I can do now is set up different things on different layers, and then we'll go over some of the options here. So you can select this light and add it to its own layer by clicking this first icon here. And then uh, as you can see, if I turn off the visibility, it turns it on and off. So I can call this light layer, uh, 
so I just call it light and then underscore and then layer and click save um, and then I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna click on the hero shield the actual whole shield and add it to its own layer by clicking on this icon here and I'll call it um, on this one I'll call it uh, hero underscore layer I could call it hero shield but hero is fine and then um, with this one I'm going to choose this sort of burgundy red click save and so now if I go into wireframe node by clicking on 4 and click out you can see the red there for the shield the sort of yellow for this go back to shaded solid uh, Right now I have uh, wireframe on shading, so that's why you're seeing the red over it and top of it, which you can just do by clicking on that. But now you can see sort of the benefit here. I can turn that off, I can turn the light off, and I can turn the ground layer off. So I have control now about the visibility. Now what does this P stand for? Well, that stands for playback. So this, this actually has some animation here. And um, if I hit play, you know, it's animating, it's going through. If I turn off the P, when I'm animating, uh, it's not visible, basically. And then when I stop, it's visible. So you might say to yourself, well, why would you want that? Um, there are some instances where you may want to remove it temporarily in the animation and um, basically uh, see the scene around it. So that allows you to do that that way. The next little box here uh, has three options, or yeah, three options, blank, which means I can select everything. I can select anything on that layer. If I click on the next one, which is template, template is basically a, a wireframe sort of mode. And you can see here, I can't select the, the hero shield. I can select the lag and select the ground, but I can't select the shield here. Um, and, and it goes into wireframe mode. So, and the next one is R, which stands for reference. So reference, it's more shaded solid with wireframe and again I cannot select it so the reason why we have these types of uh, display modes is basically uh, for if you want to lock down your model prevent it from selecting you can do that with one of those and uh, it also is very useful when you're actually doing some modeling too um, to have something there as a reference without having to be able to select it so and then I can turn it back on and basically now I can select each part of um, the model, whatever part I want. So um, yeah, those are all the different features. Again, you can uh, use this to go up or down in the layer. If I want to move here a layer up or down, maybe the light layer, uh, I don't use that much, so I turn it all the way down. And you can add layers again. Um, if you want to remove selections to layer, for example, the hero shield here, Say I want to put the star in its own uh, layer. I don't know why I would want to do that, but say I do, uh, I can select the star here and I can right click and remove selected objects. And so now, as you see, as I turn off the visibility, it should, didn't look like it did at that time. Um, oh, that's why it's because I selected the whole group. So the group overrides the individual object, that's why. If I had selected the different parts, so let's try this. Uh, I'm going to select the whole group. Uh, I'm going to remove selected objects. So now you can see nothing turns on and off. And I will select all these objects here and then right click and add selected objects. So now everything goes away. And then I'm going to just select the star and then right click remove selected objects. And now you can see I can turn off everything except for the star, which can be kind of handy for certain things. Say you want to see something on its own. Uh, that is one thing that's really cool about the display layer. I can also put the star on its own layer and have that or I, so while it's selected here, I can again right click and add selected objects. So now as I turn off visibility, the whole thing goes away. So that's pretty much a wrap of the display layers. They allow you to primarily control the visibility of your layers uh, through either visibility, through playback, or through template or reference mode, um, or again, uh, default select mode. You can also change the colors of the objects in wireframe. Again, you can always do that by double clicking on the layer to bring up the edit options here. Choose index or RGB and basically pick whatever color you want. 
So have fun. Until next time, see you soon in Autodesk Maya. Cheers.